Hello and welcome to Web Intersect Part 25. And you guys should know what we're doing by now, so I'm not going to describe all that again. And I have to address just a couple of things. I know I said in the last Part uh, 24 that I was going to show you guys how to program in the forgot password functionality. But in this Part 25, I'm going to tie up a loose end that I didn't show you guys about before. And this is a very important one. We want to make sure that we cap our maximum blab amount for each member in the database to something like 20, 50, or 100, whatever you really want. But I'm going to cap mine at 20 so no member can have any more than 20 blabs at one time. And so that's going to be part 25. And part 26 is going to be the uh, forgot password functionality. And then part 27, which is going to be, part 27 is going to be the final um, tutorial for the whole entire series. I'm going to call it quits for just a little while in this series to think about which directions I want to go with it and part 27 will will end the series for a little while and that's going to be the remember me functionality which is going to be a really cool one and very useful one to a lot of you guys so your members don't have to keep logging in every time they come they can just open their browser go to your site bam they're logged in automatically because we're going to be using cookies yummy little cookies okay so now what we're going to do is make sure we cap off and this is going to be just a few lines of code and very simple to do every time the member blabs we're just going to slice off the top or the tail end of their whole list in the database that so it'll be like a whole cycling type system of blabbing okay so let's show you guys that now oh yeah I have to address one thing the, five, the free source package is only up to part 20 and you notice we're at part 25 now so if you download the free source package you're going to be missing a little bit of code and a few of the video tutorials aren't even listed on the site yet they're at YouTube still and I haven't updated the site yet and I'm going to do that when I get some time so just give me a little bit of time and I'll get the free source package updated and I'll let everybody know by blabbing about it I just want to make sure that you guys know that the free source package is not getting updated until the end of the series which is part 27 remember me functionality got it good okay so let's knock out capping off the maximum limit of blabs in our database for each member and uh, so fire up your favorite text editor and open up profile.php we'll go down to the section where the blab actually gets posted into the database right here and what we're going to do is go down a couple of lines and make ourselves a comment. And I think in this area, when this functionality happens, when the blab gets inserted into the database in this if condition, is the best place to slice off the tail end of the blab section of the blab list for this member. It just makes sense to me, so that's what we're going to do. If it, if it doesn't make sense to some of you guys, you want to put it somewhere else, that's your call. Okay, so let's call this delete any blabs over 20 for this member and so let's go ahead and right here and make sure we visually end that so we can keep nice visual separation for ourselves in the code what's going on where you know what I mean okay so let's make a variable here that's going to be called SQL delete blabs and this is going to equal MySQL query similar to let's say this one so let's just grab that okay so this query is going to be from blabbing so let's make sure we're selecting the right table we're going to select all from blabbing where mem ID because that's the database field in that table that we want to access so mem ID equals ID that's just fine because their session ID is already set up here and that's the variable for it so we select all well before we do that let's make a before I explain the query we're gonna say order by make sure we order it into descending 
by blab date. Order by blab date descending and we're going to limit it as well because we only need to really you could if you're going to set your cap to 20 you can set your cap to whatever you want but I'm setting mine to 20 but actually I'm going to do a query here of a limit of 50 I don't even need the zero so I'm going to limit my query to 50 because I think I have a few more than 20 blabs and maybe a couple of other members also have maybe a few more than 20 so I'm just going to select show mine is uh, limit 50 actually it's limited to 20 if there's a few extras in a database who cares usually you would be coding this in before any members really got to do a lot of blabbing so they would never get above 20 you know what I mean I hope you do okay so let's go to the next line down and we're gonna make a variable for index you know a lot of the times you see I as a variable we're gonna call ours BI and it's going to be an incremented uh, variable. It's going to start at one, <clears throat> the index. And it's just, I call it BI for blab index. And the first one in the loop is going to be one, so I claim it as one. Okay, now we're going to put in a while loop that's going to do everything we needed the slicing off the end. Okay, I decided I'm going to keep this at 50. It's really not going to make any difference. Even if your cap is set to 20, it's not going to hurt it to limit the query to 50 because there won't be 50 ever. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now let's put in this while loop. So we'll say while, open it up. Oops. While the row from the database equals mysql fetch array and then the query right here put it right there with the dollar sign on it and then we'll close up this one and then we'll open up the curly brace now let's close our while loop right here beautiful and that's where the end delete blabs would end. So right inside of the while loop, we're going to select or access the blab ID, the ID associated with that particular blab that's being accessed in the fetch array. And this one is going to be called row. Put a semicolon in between the brackets, single quotes in between the single quotes, the ID field. So now, actually, let's make those double quotes. ID. There we go. Okay, so in the ID field, for each blab that's coming out in this array, we access the ID, of the ID for that blab. That way we can delete it here if it happens to be over 20 and I'm going to show you how that works and I'll try to explain it the best I can but the code works trust me now we're going to open an if statement and close it now within the if statement we're going to check to see if bi well first let me increment bi down here and usually it would be i plus plus